first series is focused on nine bourbons that we think you need to have as the cornerstone of your home bar. Um, first up here is the Evan Williams 1783, recently repackaged for the, the better, um, 90, 90 proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. All right. Got a nice sweet nose. Yeah, absolutely. Very sweet. Picking up on the the uh, sweet vanilla and definitely picking up on the oak, yeah. the charred oak. Yeah, I'm um, getting, getting the oak as well. I think this is twenty three dollars roughly uh, at your local McAdoodle store. If I'm not mistaken. Tremendous value. <clears throat> I think Chris, these are generally thought to be representative of a four to six year old profile, right? It's not age stated. Um, but I think for the most part the blender's trying to match something in in that four to six range Yeah, and do so consistently. I think that's that's <clears throat> one of the keys um, With these whiskeys is consistent predictable yep. Solid value every time know what you're gonna get every time what I like about this one Very very smooth to drink very approachable, but it's also got quite a bit of spice note to it. You can pick up the oak um, It's not overpowering though uh, a lot of spiciness to this bourbon. Getting uh, notes of buttered popcorn. Yeah, definitely a buttery. This is kind of what I would describe to most people as a, a quintessential bourbon type profile. I like it. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Um, another alternative to this would be the Evan Williams uh, 100 proof bottle and bond, which we'll I think get to in. I think I think we'll we'll showcase that in an upcoming series. Um, I think yeah. Evan Williams is typically, I would say, uh, underrated or overlooked by most people uh, as a bottom shelf whiskey. But this is not a bottom shelf whiskey at all. It's got a lot to offer, and I think it has the backbone to hold up, the flavor to hold up in a uh, mixed drink as well, such as an old fashioned. I agree. It's a it's a great entry level whiskey, um, smooth, approachable. Mm -hmm. Very easy to drink, and it's got that, that versatility. Yeah. All right, so next what we're gonna cover is the uh, Four Roses Small Batch. This is the, I guess you'd say, mid-tier offering from Four Roses, available at McAdoodles in the low 30s uh, price-wise, and it comes in at 90 proof. It is not age stated, but thought to be, uh, the profile is in a six to seven year old range, is what the distiller is shooting for there. I think maybe Four Roses might tell you that it is a minimum of six to seven years, the barrels that they select for the, the small batch itself. Yeah, Four Roses is one of my favorites, and I think they did a great job with this small batch as a entry-level whiskey. Yeah. Um, you know, Four Roses makes several different recipes or mash bills, as they're known in the industry, um, and this small batch select is a blend of several of their different recipes. Could be one of all 10. So let's get to it. That's Four Roses is typically gonna be a little more fruity than your uh, uh, average bourbon, but it'll still have the spice because they have a high rye mash bill and uh, it'll have a lot of great flavor on it. Yeah, I, I agree, Don. I'm picking up that, that fruit on the nose, but also some, some nice caramel and, and oak notes in the background. Yeah, I would agree. Definitely fruity on the nose, a lot of sweet vanilla, and I would say uh, bright red fruits, not dark fruits, more yeah. ripe fruit. Yeah, this smells to me like a whiskey I'd like to drink. That's right. The palate, you can definitely pick up the oak. You can tell this is a little older whiskey than the Evan Williams, which we had before. Um, not overpowering at all, but definitely brings out some spice and some of that oak tannin. Yeah, when, when we talk about fruit, I'm getting I'm getting some kind of red berry notes, so maybe some strawberry, yeah, possibly some raspberry. Raspberry, I would agree. But it's still got great balance. I um, mean, <clears throat> for thirty dollars, I, I think thirty thirty two dollars, it's going to be hard to to beat a whiskey like this. Yeah, I, I agree. It's it's just a pleasure to drink. It really is. And additionally, like the Evan, with the high rye uh, mash bill, the spice that that brings forward, it's gonna work very well in a mix, um, just as well as it would neat or on the rocks. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the folks at Four Roses are doing good things. This, uh, 
small batch select uh, strong, something everyone should have in their collection or on their bar. Oh, maybe, it, maybe it's important to say. And when you're in the stores, be sure to be on the lookout. There's a, there's a bottle that's very similar to this one. It's called Small Batch Select. It's a, about double the price point. So I wanna make sure everybody's aware. Uh, we're talking about the, uh, the, the 30s, lower 30s bottle, not the uh, bottle that's in the 60s. Next up in our segment is Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark known by the distinctive red wax cap and also as a wheat bourbon. Wheat bourbons have become very in vogue in recent years. Um, the Weller lineup, Pappy Van Winkle, they're all wheated bourbons. Um, very popular and the reason for that is the addition of wheat in the recipe brings a sweetness to it that other bourbons don't have. Um, Maker's Mark is a, is a staple for me personally. When I, when I scan a bar and there's limited selections, nine times out of 10, Maker's Mark lands in my glass. Yeah, and as mentioned, I mean, this is what I got started on back in college. So uh, this is really the whiskey that turned me on to bourbon. Yeah, don't pull it and put the cap on No, there. I don't want to do that. You gotta make sure my boy gets a fork. Mm -hmm. Oh, Don, this is... This is like mother's milk. Yeah, I mean, just sweet. Um, yeah, caramel. You know, definitely picking up caramel, brown sugar, vanilla, all those uh, traditional bourbon notes. Yeah, d dessert like notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Much more, much more sweet than your typical. Again, Makers is usually uh, blending into that four to six range, right? Four to six years. Uh, these should be available at your local Macadoodles in the mid 20s. Uh, tw around 25 bucks, uh, very affordable, and uh, endless supply basically of, of Maker's Mark. So if you are into whiskey at all and you don't have Maker's Mark, you need to go and pick one up today. I, I agree, it's, it's a go-to, must have for, for any, anyone's bar collection. Um, you know, that, that wheat <clears throat> recipe just brings that sweetness and makes, yeah. it, makes it so sippable. Mixes well, in my opinion, in more of the sweet uh, like a Kentucky Mule or a uh, Manhattan. It, it doesn't have quite the flavor profile, that, that depth uh, or spiciness that holds up really well in an old fashioned, in my opinion. Uh, but you can certainly drink it in there if you like it. That's one of the things that I like to tell everybody that I'm drinking with. It doesn't matter how you try this. You try it neat, you try it with some water, you try it with ice, you try it and ultimately you find out how do you like it the best and that's the way that you need to drink it. Yeah, and I, and I think that's, I think that's true of, of bourbons and whiskeys in general. It's really about enjoyment. It's what you enjoy, you know, what I enjoy. There's no right or wrong here. It's really about having a good time. Yeah, you that's know? an important note because I mean, the, the foundation of, uh, of our get togethers when we get together and taste is one, like you said, just what do we enjoy? What do we want to taste? And then the other piece is trying new things and uh, you know, really getting to explore the gamut of flavors that you can find with whiskey. As you said before, the small batches, which these are all small batch bourbons, they tend to be blended to have the same profile every time you get a bottle. But as we branch out and get into other uh, types of bottlings like your single barrels, et cetera, you can get um, wildly variable uh, flavor profiles. Yeah. You see what I did there? I did. Wild, widely variable. Wild. <laughs> wow, what? Whiskey I'd like to drink, baby. Right. 